Well, today on Queen City News at noon, a potentially historic hurricane closes in on Florida less than two weeks after Helene made landfall in the states. A new video right here from the National Weather Service shows the moment a tornado crossed Interstate 75 today in Miami as Hurricane Milton approaches the state. The storm is expected to bring intense winds and life-threatening storm surge that could reach 15 feet in some areas in Sarasota County, a grim image of the reality for people in the Sunshine State. I mean, look at this emergency vehicles lining the streets to evacuate people from nursing home facilities. More than 7 million people are under mandatory evacuation orders right now, and officials are now warning residents not to bank on the storm weakening. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman here to be able to talk about all of this. And let's take a live look here over Tampa Bay, Florida. So a tornado warning now in effect, Andrew, in the area, and according to the National Weather Service, uh, that area could see just widespread destruction. Yeah, really concerned about both severe weather and also the impacts that we're going to be seeing from Milton with the wind and the rain that's going to be uh, moving on in here across the Carolinas, as we've been talking about for the entirety of this storm system. We are not expecting any impacts from Milton. We've got the fall weather here across the Carolinas and it is not going anywhere. We got cooler temperatures on the way once we get to your Thursday and Friday. And of course, Milton will be making landfall here in Florida a little bit later on today. The latest with the tropical satellite, the storm is weakening. We've also expected this as the storm has been running into a little bit of wind shear, but it is still expected to be a major hurricane at landfall. Latest with this storm system, 145 mile per hour sustained winds heading off to the northeast at 17 miles an hour. Expecting a landfall this evening very close to Bradenton, Florida is the latest from the National Hurricane Center as a major hurricane with winds at about roughly 100 and 25 miles per hour. It's a very dangerous situation. On top of that, they're going to be dealing with some tornadoes as well. I'll talk all about that coming up with my pinpoint forecast. Pinpoint Sally here across the Carolinas, just a few high clouds, but otherwise a beautiful day on the way for the region. All right, thank you, Andrew, for that. All right, this is a live look here over the White House as President Biden was scheduled to visit Germany and Africa. Well, he canceled that trip to focus on what he's now warns that could be the worst storm to hit Florida in a century. 15 counties with more than 7 million people are now under mandatory evacuations. And the Pentagon says that they've now moved high water vehicles and helicopters to Georgia ahead of the storm in Florida. They've also activated 5,000 Florida National Guard members, and that's on top of the 1,500 active duty soldiers in North Carolina right now helping with Helene cleanup. Well, FEMA is also hard at work right now ahead of Hurricane Milton. In a briefing today, officials discuss measures that they now have in place to keep everyone safe. Take a listen. In addition to the teams we still have on the ground from Hurricane Helene, I directed additional search and rescue, incident management, power assessment, and medical facility assessment teams into Florida and the surrounding areas pre-landfall. We've also moved millions of meals and liters of water into the area for Floridians. And FEMA and the state have been in close coordination on where we pre-position our resources to best support their needs. We'll